As 2024 is coming to a close, it's time yet again to lock the developers of the year's biggest and best games in a room so they can fight to the death to determine who wins game of the year. That's how that works, right? Uh, the annual game awards. Ever since E3 was shut down forever and ever and ever, the game awards has filled that big games showcase sized hole for me. Sure all the game awards is is a glorified 3 hour ad for video games, but who cares? I love video games, so my ass is glued to my seat every year excited to see the cool new upcoming games. Games, trailers, world premieres, Jeff Keighley, oh my. But this year is extra interesting. No, not the controversy of DLC being up for Game of the Year. In fact, for me, the most interesting part of this year's award show is the most anticipated games category. You got some really cool games on the list like Kojima's Ever Expanding with Insanity and Nightmare Fuel Death Stranding 2, the sequel to the excellent Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Yote, Metroid 4, which some people still say exist, Delusional, Monster Hunter Wilds, which comes out in like three months, so I'm not 100% sure why it's even on the list, and finally, GTA 6. I mean, come on guys, there's no way GTA 6 isn't winning most anticipated game. I mean the game is literally projected to sell billions. The game is so anticipated you could be watching some unrelated random video online and there's a good chance in the comments someone saying we got so and so before GTA 6. I mean it's been 10 years and 3 console generations since GTA 5 was released. So yeah the game's pretty anticipated. But what really has me thinking is the fact that damn wouldn't winning most anticipated game be a great time to drop trailer 2 for GTA 6? I mean sure Rockstar really doesn't need an excuse to drop anything but assuming we don't get anything from Rockstar before the Game Awards show, which is on December 12th, what better time? Now I can hear the collective eye rolls, but think about it. It'll be around a year since we got trailer 1. GTA 6 is slated to come out fall 2025, so you would have to think the ad campaign has to start ramping up pretty soon. And the amount of eyes glued to the screen like good video game consumers is at an all-time high during the Game Awards. And if that doesn't convince you, on December 12th, the night of the Game Awards, the moon will be in waning gibbous phase. The very same moon phase shown in a screenshot about GTA Online. No, I'm not crazy. It's waning gibbous. It's waning gibbous, I tell you. Waning gibbous! Hi.